praise the Lord. We want to look at something very important from the Word of God, but before we look into it, can we just have a brief moment of prayer? Our Father, we bless your name. We worship you for your grace upon our lives. We thank you because you do not give us over to the will of our enemies. We pray even as we look into your word, you teach us your word, enlighten us through your word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We'll be looking at the abundance of Christ. The abundance of Christ. You see, in John chapter 10, verse 10, B, the Bible says, I am come that they might that ye might have life and that ye might have it more abundantly. If there is someone who has abundant life to give anyone, it is Jesus Christ. Jesus, uh, uh, just as the thief comes to steal, to kill and to destroy, Jesus comes so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. You see, Jesus Christ has the abundance. He has what it takes to uh, provide this abundance that he has promised to give unto us, unto as many as will come to him. No matter how wretched one is in sin, the abundance of Jesus is able to meet the spiritual poverty of one. His abundance is able to alleviate one from the pain and misery experienced in sin. His abundance is able to take away the yoke of sin and self-righteousness from, from one and place the righteousness of Christ on one. His abundance is able to set those who are heavy laden with sin free and give them rest completely. His love towards humanity is abundant and His mercy is also abundant. Let one therefore plead for his mercy, for his abundant mercy and for his abundant love. As, as one do that, one will be forgiven and one will be completely, completely set free from sins. 